Um, but let's talk double T. Double T. What did I uh, say though? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So hold on. Did you say were you the one who tweeted that he broke the curse? Yeah. Oh yeah, you said he broke the Kardashian curse. <laughs> but what did I say? Double T gonna get washed by Valentunas in the rap in the in the. But in what did I say? I, I said I, I think it was after Game Five. Yeah, I said yeah. if they play Double T, I think you'll have an effect. Reason of being is because I just noticed just Kevin Love is just undersized. For one, he's undersized and he was being mobilized by um Thad Young and he can't really score over on um, Miles Turner and he can't really score over Sabonis either. So when you post them like it's it's. I know what they want to do. They want to run small and run teams completely mm-hmm. out the gym, but they not shooting well enough for them to be able to do that. If everybody was hitting shots, then it wouldn't matter if you was giving up size down low and rebounding and you were giving up interior. It, 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 it wouldn't matter if you didn't have no paint presence because you're shooting teams out the gym. They not doing that right now, so you need a paint presence. You can't have a lane be food and be welcoming for all if – you know, yeah, um, he definitely had an effect on Miles exactly. Turner. Miles Turner had his worst game of the of the, uh, of the entire series. It was it was actually kind of I I will put it this way: Miles Turner definitely did have a very embarrassing outing in Game Seven. Uh, you know, I I still felt like he didn't des- he didn't deserve to foul out, and once he fouled out, it was kind of like damn, like it's just free run to the lane now. Uh, but but hey, he didn't play he didn't play great. He didn't. But he did not play great at all. But what I um said about the what I've what I've what I've been saying about the Cavs all year and about the Raptors finally came true for the Cavs. Uh, Kevin Love was closer to his season average. It was still fourteen, but that's still better than when he was out here giving you nine. I mean, he only gave you six rebounds. Yeah, but listen, he gave he did you hit four threes. Exactly, all, all, exactly. Every three, he every hit, three hit was huge. Every three Kevin was pivotal. Hit was, was like pivotal. crazy. Like yeah, he had like pivotal, like, yeah. like 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 yeah, he had fourteen points, but he played like an all star tonight. Yeah, I agree. you know why Kevin Love wasn't um all star, and then you go out there and Tristan give you fifteen and ten, and crazy. then um George Hill comes in and give you eleven and six. That's a whole human being. If Tristan can continue to give you 15 and 10, man. You're going to be straight. If Tristan can go out there and give you a double-double and you can have another guy step up, you're going to be just fine. This is what I've been saying. It finally came true. Braun going to do Braun thing. I need Kevin Love to go play, to go out there and play like an all-star. And we have enough guys that we can have two random combinations of people who can equal up to that third guy and give me an all-star type performance between the two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what happened tonight. Yeah. D- they don't win this game without George Hill coming in. First of all, I don't know why George Hill didn't start from the beginning. But he was injured, wasn't he? Yeah, back spasms. But if he's going to come in and play like that, just put him on the court in the um, beginning. I mean, yeah, but if he's having back spasms, then you don't necessarily ex- you know know how he's going to react. And you don't need True. to try to figure out how he's going to react. Tyron Luke put him in as... To me, Tyron Luke put him in as like a last ditch effort. Like if Bron, if, if Bron is out, I need somebody on the floor that can he make He came plays. in before then. Huh? I think he came in before then. I mean, I mean, not necessarily. I'm sorry, not, not, but, but when Braun was out in that stretch, George Hill was on the floor. What I'm saying yeah. is like when Braun was out, George Hill in that moment when he played, I felt like that was kind of Tyron lose like last resort. I agree because I didn't really want because Jr. wasn't on the floor at that point in time. He was on the bench right getting his yeah. rest. So I didn't really want to put Jr. back in the game. But you, you can't still, put Calderon you, in. Yeah, you can't put Calderon in because he ain't scored at all. Not even that. It's just he can't like the one thing that I noticed um, about the with the. Fast break points. The in the um, first half, they didn't turn the ball over at all. Mm-hmm. Cleveland literally had no turnovers. Um, near the end of the, actually, pretty much at the end of the half, um, when LeBron missed that layup mm-hmm. and it led to an immediate run out by Collison. Yeah. To me, that was like their first turnover because missed layup. Hubie Brown yeah. said this. Yeah. Hubie Brown end, said yeah. this and watch it. Literally every time, miss layups and dunks for some reason always lead to transition opportunities. I don't know why, but it always does. Every single time. Shout out to Hubie. I'm gonna cry. I'm I'm, like, I'm seriously gonna cry. Hubie getting old. I'm gonna shed tears when Hubie. Yeah, but hopefully he lived to be like 180. See, I want Hubie to live forever. Exactly. Forever. Yo, somebody they need to get. Need, yo, they need to record his voice and like upload his brain to a machine or some shit. They need and then to. He can just call games from the sideline. Whatever the fuck they gave the Black Panther to make that man the Black Panther, <laughs> they need to go give Hubie Brown that shit so we can live forever. Hubie Brown gotta live forever. But if Hubie Brown the Black Panther juice. But that was but that was to me like the first turnover of the game. Then they came out immediately and started turning the ball over and that's what allowed Indiana to get back into it. You cannot turn the ball over with Ola Deep on Collison. Like that backcourt might be the fastest backcourt in the NBA. They are fastest. Yes they are. Yeah. Um they play I mean they play with the fury um in this game, like in terms of how they were attacking. It's just Collison couldn't hit any of those open jumpers that they yeah. needed to. And for some reason, he was playing hot potato with the basketball. 
Like every time they threw the ball, he was like, I feel like he was trying to uh, fumble. And it's like, what are you doing? I feel like he was looking to shoot before he had the ball. No, in it's his like, hands. bro, catch the ball. Yeah. Rule number one: catch the ball. It was a couple. Then of ta- you dribble. There was a couple of times in which the fact that he fumbled it took away the open shot. Um, also, shout out Jeff Green because Jared Smith was getting sent to hell by uh, Oladipo mainly because he just he just doesn't. Every time Oladipo would just run at him, like he just doesn't have the foot speed at his age or the length to mm-hmm. uh, stay in front of him. But Jeff Green, a bigger body, could actually somewhat stay in front of him um, and at least make it difficult for Victor. He didn't get all them p- points on um, Jeff Green. Mm-hmm. He wasn't doing that on Jeff Green. On, 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 on um, JR, he probably gave that man 25. He probably gave JR 25. 